Philadelphia, Boston. But take a look at Caitlin Clark and Kennedy Carter on the way down after that shot. And then ensuing sky possession, here we go. It was without a doubt one of the most talked about topics in the past couple of days. While basketball is a physical sport by nature, intentional body checks are still frowned upon and most of the time result in a foul. For Caitlin Clark. Just respond, come down, let your play do the talking. It is what it is. Um, it, it is what it is, I guess, I don't know. So who is Caitlin Clark? She is considered to be one of the greatest players in the history of women's college basketball, especially known for her scoring. As a guard for the University of Iowa in 2024, the 22-year-old player became the all-time leading scorer in NCAA basketball, surpassing Pete Maravich's record of 3,667 points. Unsurprisingly, she was the number one overall pick in the 2024 WWE NBA Draft, selected by the Indiana Fever. What's more, her widespread popularity has helped increase interest in women's college basketball. Some say that Caitlin's love for the sport is a part of who she is, growing up in an athletic family. Paper, like when I was in second or third grade and it has like, you write down like all your dreams in like these little bubbles. And I remember one of them was playing the WNBA and earn a basketball scholarship. Although she played various sports, she eventually concentrated on basketball and was a phenom from a young age. As a young girl, I was super competitive and my parents always knew that. And I was always somebody that was driven by goals. And I think that's kind of remained the same throughout my life, whether it was in school, whether it was soccer, whether it was softball, whether it was track, really any sport I was doing, but especially in basketball, like. I Her grandfather recalled that by the time Clark was five years old, she could dribble a basketball and already displayed great anticipation on the court. However, she had to join a boys team because her dad couldn't find a girls team for her age group. My parents kind of just knew I was a little more advanced in my skill set from a young age. And I think they also struggled to find teams where there were girls that were, I never like questioned that. And it never was like, oh, why am I playing with the boys? It was just what I did. Like, and those are seriously some of my best friends to this day. And they always message me and like are so proud of me. And they. As she grew up, she only improved as an athlete. In fact, she was a standout at Dowling Catholic High School in West Des Moines, Iowa. During her junior year in 2019, she helped the U.S. women's team win the gold medal in the Under-19 World Championship. When she graduated from Dowling in 2020, she was one of the state's leading scorers in women's basketball with 2,547 career points and was named Miss Iowa Basketball. During her freshman year at the University of Iowa, she put up stellar numbers, averaging 26.6 points and 7.1 assists per game and was named the Big Ten's Freshman of the Year. She also led the United States to another gold medal in the Under-19 World Championship and was named the tournament's most valuable player. From there, she just continued to train in perfecting her craft, or her play, whatever you want to call it. Long story short, Caitlin Clark has gotten plenty of attention for helping her team clinch some major wins during her college basketball career. The accolades she's collected so far are truly remarkable. She won gold medals at the 2019 and 2021 FIBA U19 World Cups, as well as the 2017 FIBA Americas U16 Championship. Plus, there are also the numerous awards and accolades from esteemed organizations. Her trophy case includes titles like ESPN and Associated Press National Player of the Year, reflecting her dominance in women's college basketball. As most of you may be aware, Clark rose to national prominence last year with a record-setting March Madness performance. She became the first player to record a triple-double with 40 or more points in tournament history, men's or women's, and led Iowa to the national championship game against LSU. That momentum carried over into 2024 as Clark passed current WNBA players Kelsey Plum and Maravich on their respective scoring lists and now has 3,900 career points. That includes 41 points in Iowa's most recent game, a 94. 87 Elite Eight victory in a heated rematch with LSU. Naturally, it wasn't all record-breaking games for her. A couple of days ago, her name was splashed everywhere. Okay, that's an exaggeration. But really, her name was in the headlines of countless news sites. But not because of her performance in a game. 
Instead, the level of physicality she has faced during the first handful of games of her rookie WNBA season has been a hot topic. Before you jump to conclusions and start jumping, know that Caitlin is well aware that basketball is a physical game. It is what it is, you know, I feel like I'm just at the point where you accept it um, and don't retaliate, like, you know, just let them hit you, be what it is, don't let it get inside your head um, and know it's coming. I think at this point, like, I know I'm going to take a couple hard shots a game. And that's what, that's what it is, she said before adding. And that's what it is. Just, just stay in the game and saying what's important. As you may have noticed in the video earlier, Caitlin received an unwarranted hip check from a Sky player. Sky guard Chenity Carter made a basket late in the third quarter. She then shifted to defense and began guarding Clark, who was attempting to get open to receive the inbound pass. Now here's where things get dicey. Clark never touched the ball, but Carter delivered a shoulder check, which knocked the Fever Star to the hardwood. Today, 15 seconds to go in the third quarter. This off the inbound, Carter seemingly out of nowhere for no apparent reason. We didn't get an explanation. Body checks Caitlin Clark. Referees immediately assessed Carter with a foul. As you can imagine, replays of the moment in question surfaced on social media. Bree doubled off to Carter. Her jumper is good. Kennedy Carter now with 12 points off the bench. And, and Clark. Clark then went to the free throw line and spoke to ESPN once the quarter ended. Yeah, that's just not a basketball play, she said. But you know, I've got to play through it. That's what basketball is about at this level. Days after it happened, there was still a lot of noise about it. Her fans were reassured to hear that her younger brother Colin is living with her. Having family by her side has definitely helped Clark focus on basketball and shut out all the noise. It is also definitely on the plus side that her boyfriend, Connor McCaffrey, is in Indiana and also works for the Indiana Pacers. Now, more than ever, Caitlin Clark is a leading figure in the basketball world. In the aftermath of Chenity Carter's blindside flagrant foul on the WNBA's number one overall pick, discourse around the subject is beginning to reach all-time heights. Even prominent figures from around the basketball world have chimed in with their takes on the matter. American former basketball player and coach Nancy Lieberman commented on what she would have done if Carter fouled her at that moment. If I were Caitlin Clark, I would have punched her in the face, the Hall of Famer admitted. Uh, if I were Caitlin Clark, I would have punched her in the face. Uh, but I'm from New York and I would have told her to yeah. <laughs> and that would actually cure the problem because I've known Kennedy since she was in high school here in Dallas. She's a tough kid. She's a really good basketball player. She's going to come after you because she's very physical. Which Meanwhile, Indiana Fever legend Tamika Catchings said the WNBA has to do a better job of protecting its players. In an interview with USA Today, the retired professional basketball player called Carter's foul a cheap shot. She also said that it was up to the league to do more to protect players from things like that. The cheap shot, I don't agree with that, I don't agree with that. Especially that's where injuries happen, she said. The fact that the referees didn't take the time within the game to go and look at it, I was really surprised. I was at the game. I was really surprised that they didn't look at it and that they just kept it moving. That's not a basketball play. Longtime UConn women's basketball coach Gino Oriema, on the other hand, thinks that the Indiana Fever rookie has been targeted so far during her rookie season in the WNBA. Is she facing the rookie challenge, the rookie hardships that are inherent with being a rookie? Yes, Oriema said via ESPN's Michael Vopel. She's also being targeted. Tennis legend Martina Navratilova has come out in support of Clark and urged other WNBA players to treat her with a lot more respect than they currently are. The sentiment is echoed by more athletes, and not just those in the basketball space. Watch the other goings-on in sports here.